Hi, my name is Tom Meetzel. I'm a licensed real estate broker, investor, and coach. And for many years, I was a licensed general contractor in the state of Wisconsin. And today we're going to explain what a sump pump system is. When I take clients through a home into the basement, they'll often see this big round hole and they'll ask me what it is. Well, that's a sump pump. And let's talk about what a sump pump does. A sump pump is designed to manage any water that gets up against the exterior of the home or comes up under the foundation. So when you have your wall built, what your builder is going to do is they're going to apply a waterproof coating to the exterior of the concrete wall. So what that does is it forces the water down alongside the footing. Now the footing is what carries the weight of the entire home. Now the problem is, is that if water builds up alongside that wall, water is very heavy, you can actually cave that wall in over time or it will cause the wall to leak. So what modern building codes do is require something called a drain tile. In a drain tile system, there's a number of different types. The one we're talking about right now is called the Forma Drain System. And the Forma Drain System are plastic pieces that are actually part of the footing. They're actually used to form up the footing. They're about eight inches high. So what the concrete people will do, the concrete installers, well they'll come in and they will put your footings uh, in and they're going to be about two foot wide and on the exterior of those forming up the footing are going to be two drain tiles. But underneath the footing is going to be what's called a bleeder. And the bleeder goes ahead and lets any water that comes alongside the exterior of the wall work its way into the inside of the home. Now a lot of people think, well, why would I want water inside the home? Well, you have to manage the water. So what happens is that when the water builds up alongside the home or comes up from underneath, it goes into the drain tile system. The drain tile system is connected to what's called a sump crock. That's that big round hole you see in your basement. Now, building codes do not require a sump pump or method to get the water out of the home, but they do require, new, new building codes do require a sump pit in case you ever do have a water problem, you can put a pump in. But we're assuming in this model that the pump's are already there. So water comes in, let's say from a real heavy rain or your grade's not right, the water builds up, it flows down the wall into the drain tile and wicks over to the other side on the inside of the wall underneath your concrete floor. Now, that area underneath the concrete floor is connected to the drain tile. So the water comes in here and the float, there's a pump in here and there's a float on this pump. So as the water rises, it turns on a pump and the pump pumps the water up over the concrete wall and out of the house. Uh, when the water level drops, the pump turns off. So it doesn't run all the time. Uh, some people who put some pumps in will never ever hear their pump run. Uh, others, uh, depending on the area in which you're in, there might be a higher water table, there might be more water, uh, more rain, we'll hear their pump run every time it rains on a regular basis. So the sump pump is simply a system designed to make sure that water cannot build up alongside the foundation or under the floor of the home. A sump pit, you know, a sump pump, if you need one, are typically less than $1,000 installed. They're connected simply to a white PVC pipe, which takes it up over the wall and discharges it to the exterior of the home. If you do have a sump pump, you want to make sure that the discharge pipe is actually away from the home or has an extension on it, because I've seen uh, properties where the drain tile uh, collects the water, it goes to the pump, it comes out, it's pumped, and it drops right alongside the concrete wall. Well, where does that water go? goes right back down to the footing and it's one big continuous loop, you're just asking for trouble. So if you have any water trouble, you're going to want to have a sump pump installed. Uh, if you have a new home, you're going to have a sump pit if you have a basement. And I always recommend, especially if you're going to put any finishes in the lower level, drywall, trim, that you definitely have a sump pump because the one time it runs, it will save you thousands of dollars. If you need any other uh, information, you can feel free to call us. At uh, our number is at madisonhomesales.com, madisonhomesales.com, where you also find a lot of other videos on buying a home, selling a home, and different systems within your home so you can educate yourself before you make your buying decision. You can also call us at 608 210 9360. Thanks and have a great day.